Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we prepared for you how it's made video with the free pattern. This time is something for the ladies. On the beginning we do some uh, pattern work, cutting out and uh, joining all together. So you can see how we prepare pattern before placing it on a leather. Uh, for this project I recommend two uh, types of veg tan leather. For the main body and the straps, we use a 3.2 mm leather, which is about 8-9 ounce thick. And for the side panels, we use about 2 mm thick leather, which is about 5-6 ounce. Let's start from cutting out the main um, body part. I place the pattern on the leather and uh, put some weight on it, so it keeps nice and steady. Uh, for this project I use mainly rotary cutter and uh, sometimes a utility knife. When you finish cutting out it's time to mark the stitching holes. Uh, use an awl to mark uh, beginnings and the end where the mm, stitching hole should be. Then by using a compass uh, mark the stitching line. On the thinner leather, uh, which is about uh, 2mm thick, uh, cut out the side panel. You can use one thickness of the leather, but you would have to sky the sides for the stitching. Then use an awl again to mark up uh, the stitching lines. Soon we're gonna do giveaway on one of these bags. Then use the punching tools to mark the hole for the D-rings. And again use the compass to uh, mark the stitching lines. And then use utility knife to uh, make a little cut on the corners so leather folds better when you're stitching the corner. And punch out the mounting points for the D-rings. Cut the corners on the main body part. And now we can start punching out the uh, stitching holes. Uh, for this project I use 6mm Zinnenberg punching tool. In my case on the front there is uh, 20 holes, then on the bottom is 10 and at the back is 21. Yeah, do the same for the main body part, just make sure that it's the same amount of holes so it falls nicely. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I use uh, presses for my punching tools because it's quite quiet. I work at home and uh, it's a bit noisy if you use a hammer. Just to remind you, uh, first punch out 20 holes, then a 10. And last one is 21. Uh, when you finish with all the holes, it's time to do the edges. On main body, I use bevler number three. When you flip it to the other side, just do the uh, front and the part where the flap should be. Cut out the straps. When you do the bag with the strap, uh, cut out uh, one wide strap and two narrow ones for the shoulder strap. When preparing shoulder straps, they should be uh, 110 centimeters and should have a lobster clamp on one end. Shorter straps should have 42 centimeters and should have 
snap hook on one end, then the buckle on the other. Due to the edges on the strap as well, on the both sides, I use number 3 for those as well. Then it's time to start dyeing. We use green for this one, but if you want uh, one in a different color, let us know, we can make one for you. We use oil dye for this one, and we're placing two layers of it. For the best effect, uh, try to spread the dye evenly on the whole piece of leather. We only recorded the first layer. In between layers I usually wait around 2 hours. Sometimes I use a hair dryer to make the drying process a bit quicker. But bear in mind using that it might slightly change the color. After applying second layer please wait quite a long time till the leather is completely dry before you apply any finish. For the finish on this project with Fibbing's uh, leather shin, we apply it with cosmetic sponge. This project will take you about 3-4 working hours, but with uh, all the dyeing and drying it takes all together about day and a half. I want to recommend you guys this product. When you get vegetarian leather, usually it's a bit rough on the backside. It has a little bit of flesh and it's not that firm. When you use this product, it makes it nice and slick and it gives nice shine to it as well. We recommend this product only uh, from our goodwill. We bought it and uh, we never received anything from the company. You don't need to use it on the inside of a bag, but we wanted to make it perfect because one of these bags will go for a giveaway. Just give us a few days to uh, create another video for the giveaway. It's a big game changer when you use that moss bag on the straps. And here you can see how the flesh side is nice and smooth. But bear in mind uh, that makes leather a bit darker on the flesh side. When you finish all the dyeing and finishing process with the leather, it's time to place the mounting points for the shrubs. I use 25mm the ring. These little shrubs are cut out from 2mm leather as well. The rivets used here are just a standard 9mm rivet. Now we're ready to do the stitching. Measure the 5 lengths of the stitching thread. In this little bag, every single side of the bag is stitched separately. The thread we're using for this project is 0.8mm thick. You can see how Joanna is preparing the needle with the thread. When you saddle stitch, uh, just start from the third hole and go back and then continue forward. Hand stitching is a long process, that's why when you buy something hand stitch it's a bit more expensive. But it's way stronger than uh, things stitched by the machine. Most important thing when you do the stitching is to be consistent in your movement. Repeatable movement will give you uh, nice stitching lines. In this video we show only a few stitching uh, we do because uh, we we'll make a video too long and a bit boring.
when you get to the end stitch back two holes and then uh, cut that thread and burn it with a lighter you know when you do that on nylon thread it creates like little ball on the end so that the thread can't pass by uh, the hole it makes the stitching impossible to loosen up do the same procedure for the bottom part and the back side Then flip it to the other side and do exactly the same. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you want to watch more content like this, uh, please subscribe to our channel. There is a free button to download uh, in the description of this video. Me and Joanna, we made a little competition between each other. We made two of those bags. One of them is with the strap and one is with the lock. There will be little contest and a giveaway uh, in the next video. So keep it up. And the bag comes to a shape. So now it's time to do the finishing touches. Uh, cut out the excessive amount uh, of leather from the corners. You don't need to be precise at this point because we're going to use some sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. When you use sandpaper, it makes everything nice and square. Uh, it also smooths out all the imperfections uh, done when you're cutting the leather out. And as usual on all the edges of our product, we use tokenol to smooth things out. There is two shoulder straps, one is short with the buckle and uh, clamp at the end and a longer one with the clamp at the end and some holes for the buckle so you can adjust the strap for the height of the user If you got any questions just drop us a comment below the video and So like I said we've done two of those One is with the lock mechanism and the second one is uh, with the strap and the buckle. We place some details uh, how we made both of them in a pattern which you can download from our website. Thanks for watching and please like this video. It will encourage us to create more content for you.